the scared of white boys, man. He the Illuminati ever since he drunk their sacrifice juice, man. A black man could not be Adam. Like, we could never get to the point where a black man could run that same exact concept. Nah. Without that shit getting shot up. Nah, some crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. All he doing is profiting off of each other people's beefs and, like, they controversy and because clout is so much of a drug right now that I don't mind. Whoever got the platform that they can be on, they gonna do it. I don't think they paying attention that it's a white boy monetizing off of black people beef. Yeah. Hey, you really discussing gang politics with a white boy? Like, and I tell him that when we talking, like, you ain't really supposed to be. He understood what I was saying. You know, me and Cud got a cool relationship. So he, when I tell him certain shit, he listen a little bit more. They know Adam gonna call the police on that ass. They do something. Like that. <laughs> he gonna have to choose his business over y'all personal beef. They won't give that type of respect. It looked like he mix a lot of ops. Right, right, right. right. And, and he do, but they never there at the same time. And he just. Say, hey, they never there at the same time, right? By the grace of God, because, <laughs> and it's crazy, I think niggas wouldn't even go up if, if that's what it came down to, because like he said, then they don't call the police. Now, the cold part about it is, right, I see a lot of niggas be talking about, oh, he giving these opportunities, and this, that, and the third, when really, it's not really no opportunity, bro. He really disguised it, he just exploits and disguising it as an opportunity, right? He's just letting him get away with that shit. It's crazy, because if it was Right, doing the same thing, and it would have had so much scrutiny. This would have been ah, oh, this, that, you in this politics, you this, that. Whole time they letting this getting do getting whatever politics he want, act like he the mediator or you know it's crazy, right? Cause like I come from a time when nigga, you, you if you wasn't a boy, you didn't even have no say so. If you wasn't a boy, you would you didn't you didn't have the mediating powder, uh, <laughs> the mediation power. You know what I'm saying? To be like, okay, bro, y'all niggas cut that shit out, bro, on behalf of me. But he think he a boy so much to the point to where he can do that. And it's crazy that niggas just letting niggas get away. I be seeing niggas be trying to feel some type of way about that. That's why, bro, if you got a reaction channel, you got a channel on this internet shit and some shit spill onto the internet, do your shit, bro. Don't be worried about these hoe ass niggas that got something to say. Oh, this ain't your pop. This ain't this. Nigga, shut your hoe ass up, nigga, because Adam... Get to get away with anything he want, nigga. And under the guise of he giving niggas an opportunity. These niggas are sell a ass for opportunity, P. You understand me? Boy, you got to watch these square ass niggas. And you know the cold part? Like, Adam, he be doing whole shit. Like, I seen him the other day, right? Nigga, he walked in the, the live stream. And the nigga was sagging. And gee, I bet he pulled his pants down right before he walked in there to try to look like he, you know what I mean? Like he with the shit and all this, that, and the third. Whole time, it go down. Your whole ass is going to give up them tapes. You gonna tell it verbatim what happened? This, that, and the third. It don't matter if it, you know, nigga, just be playing hell against. Also, I seen him talking about eight, like he was talking about AD and them, right? And how when they was on the platform, he used to sex play them. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I, I play them games with them, basically trying to allude to the fact that he played them type of games with them because them ain't no real niggas, and he know who. You know what I'm saying? He know who not to play that shit with, and this, that, and the third. When whole time. You don't know who's a boy and what's a boy. Now, if AD would have got up and did something dangerous to you, it would have been. It, it's it, it just ah, bro. To see the games he played be blowing my mind, and to see how niggas live, and it be a lot of niggas. It's a whole bunch of niggas. Anybody, you know, all y'all niggas who be acting like all oh, y'all this Adam Cole and uh, y'all kissing his ass and this that and the third. Y'all niggas is man. That shit be beyond me, nigga. I don't respect it. I'm going to keep it G real. I don't respect it, nigga. Feel me? Like, you niggas, bro. It's a lot of niggas who be looking to try to get their podcast off the ground or fucking get an opportunity or whatever the fuck you trying to get, nigga. Niggas don't want to hustle and bustle and get that shit off the mud. That's how I be seeing these whole ass niggas. These niggas will act like they partners with anybody to try to get some motherfucking, to get some clout or get some whatever. I never seen niggas be so obsessed, nigga, with, with clout and with, with fame or with the, with the numbers or the popularity or whatever the fuck it is. This the realest shit I ever heard Brick say as far as like when it comes regarding, regarding them, right? This some of the realest shit I done heard him say. I ain't gonna lie, like, nigga, he keeping it G real, and it's crazy because with him keeping it G real, we're gonna have to see how Adam react to that, which, you know, 
like I said, he just said earlier, he don't play them whole games. He don't play. He don't sex play. And it's crazy because he tried to say, oh, I would never. This is what he tried to say yesterday with D.W. Flaming. I don't mean to talk y'all niggas ear off. But he tried to tell D.W. Flaming Brick, like, yeah, I sex play AD and them because basically them ain't no real niggas. And I would never do that to y'all. whole time, nigga, I didn't see you sex play Brick, baby, nigga. I didn't see you, nigga. And nigga, bro, bro, this nigga, this the same nigga who had Drake whole nigga. I don't know who sets up the shit for the for the little live streams they be doing, but he had Sharp, somebody else, and some other niggas in there looking at Drake dick, man. Looking at Drake private parts, P. And you telling me, so he basically Sharp ain't a real nigga to you then, because that's why you that's why you put that nigga. Ain't that shit? Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I don't mean to talk y'all.